this morning, some local high school students making connections all the way on the other side of the world. Students in Buffalo at Buff Sam are not only learning a new language, but they're using it to communicate with people all the way in China. 7 News reporter Taylor Rapp showing us how this morning. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Ed and Katie. It's super cool. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, so students of Buffalo Seminary are immersing themselves in Asian culture. I dropped in during the school's Mandarin language class to check out the letters they wrote to some new pals, making connections from Buffalo to Beijing. For me, languages is just, it's, it's more than speaking. Originally from Kenya, Buffalo Seminary senior Marta Odiambo knows several languages. Luo, Swahili, English. I took Spanish for four years. I believe I can hold a conversation in it. And I am currently um, taking Chinese. So with all these multiple languages comes a new thing that I did not exist. She learns to speak and write Mandarin here at Buff Sam and learn the culture. Students study together and do activities together. It's really unique place. And then they just develop their like a global citizenship. Teacher Wen Guo, who is originally from mainland China, says she's honored to bring her culture here to these students. They can use the language to make a bridge and then to make friends with people and then, yeah, to make the world a peaceful place. And each of these students has made an international connection to their new friends from Beijing. I've always wanted a pen pal. You know, I'm in North America, they're in Asia. It's con two completely different continents and it's so, I don't experience a lot of the Asian culture here. Um, outside of Mandarin class. They prepared presentations for their pals, introducing themselves and their interests, hoping to make a lasting bond. Maybe I get to meet them one day. It's more about connection. It's more about the love that we share between each other. Each student tells me it's given them a different perspective on the culture, which is especially important during Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Learning about the culture brings about like a better understanding of like the world around us. I think that it brings together like a sort of unity. And it's really awesome they get to do this because yeah. a lot of their classmates at Buff Sam are originally from China, so they can speak to them in their mother tongue and really immerse themselves in the culture. It's super cool. Now, Ms. Go did teach me how to say good morning, Buffalo, in Maryland. It's Zhao Wan Buffalo. Okay, good morning, Buffalo. Good morning, Buffalo. In Mandarin, uh, in Mandarin. that's Mandarin. cool. And they also give out these lucky candies at the end of class every single day. They're from Taiwan. They are milk chewy candies. Ed, you just tried one. They're oh. really good. Did you finish already? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, please, put candy in front of my face. <laughs> It's on like done. No, oh, yeah, it's, it's like really chewy. Yeah. It's really chewy. It took me a long time to finish it. Yep. It's pretty good. I yes. enjoyed it. Uh, so these lucky candies will uh, be in the newsroom and yes. we'll be selling them. <laughs>